Let's get into our next marquee. We're going to be talking about reading reviews presented by Marquee. Marquee is a one-stop digital operations platform for no-touch digital menu and listing updates. I'm really appreciating Avi has like really dived in the conversation. He's been talking about what we talked yeah. about last week, a little bit of that more of that's happening, and just talking to Kelsey and, and him as well. They really appreciate being a part of the narrative. So loved yeah. hearing that from Avi from Marquee. I think we're all going down there to Austin to get Chilean food, right? Or is he bringing yeah. some to Chicago? We're we're going we're going to Austin. I'm going to Austin for sure and yeah. figure out how to get the Rift team there. I want the I want this Chilean food he was talking about last oh, yeah. week. So all right, let's hear from Avi. The Marquee team was at the New York restaurant show this week, and we got to hear a great restaurant marketing panel hosted by our good friend Rev from Handcraft Burgers and Brews. Go check them out near Bryant Park. And on the panel was Jenny from Eat, Drink, and Be Merry. Eat, Drink, and Be Merry has some of my favorite concepts in New York City from Hair of the Dog, which used to have $5 you call it on Tuesdays, very dangerous and fun for after work happy hours, um, to Off the Wagon, which I've been going to since I was probably 19. Um, but more importantly, they have a bar in the village called Down the Hatch. Let's look at some of their reviews because um, it's a really special place. First review, my husband and I met at Down the Hatch 27 years ago, and tonight we brought our, our oldest child, our hatchling, to celebrate his 21st birthday. Gave and the entire staff a reminder of how awesome the hatch was and will always be. Love to hear your thoughts on that, Rift team. And then the second... This review is from a young woman who was too drunk to be let in. We've all been there. But they were so nice to her that she felt compelled to leave a positive review anyway. She finishes her epic review story with the hospitality, service, and just kindness that I experienced when I went to pick up my phone was above and beyond. Huge thank you to the bouncer, the homeless man, Kayla, Mora, and Lucas for just being all around good people. Next time I visit New York, I know where I am going. That gave me all the feels. <laughs> How good was that? You get a great review from somebody who didn't even get in the building. You're fucking crushing hospitality. I saw the uh, the marquee team over there uh, in New York at the show, and they are they were getting a lot of people's attention with what they do. And I also learned that Avi is from Long Island, which is where I'm yeah. from. Oh, I'm talking about Long Island Railroad, all this stuff. All their attacks in Long Beach, but they're like. No, I don't live in Long Beach. <laughs> I live in, you know, wherever they were from. So, shot. They even gave Sean a little shout out while I was there. I sent you that yeah. video. That was a good video. I like yeah. that video. I like. <laughs> Sean loves loves getting those shout outs. Those digital <laughs> shout outs. Come on, video for sure. Uh, that, true hospitality there. And then, Sean, I want you to pick this one up as well and and run with it because that restaurant legacy, right? When you're talking about 2008, that's that's your origin story. And now 27 years ago, they met their kid. They're taking their kid there. And I think yeah. all of us as parents, like that's the kind of stuff I'm like, wow, that's legacy. That, that means something. And it's really hard to have that kind of staying power. So talk about that a little bit. Hair of the dog, by the way. Awesome. Awesome spot. If nobody's ever been. Well, I, I first that. of all, thank, thank you to Avi for bringing out uh, Eat, Drink, and Be Merry. I'm not familiar with the concept. I haven't been to New York enough, but I guarantee you I will be going to their concepts um, because of stories like that. I mean, when I think of legacy and I think of, you know, a video that I just made recently with my wife, uh, we were outside of Cali Barbecue and we were with my uncle, who's essentially a second cousin, but he immigrated to the United States um, in 1994, the year that we opened up the breakfast concept. So the year that I, at 12 years old, started bussing tables at the restaurant that I now own, my grandfather and my uncle, my second cousin, planted an orange tree at the front of the restaurant. So this orange tree has been there literally since 1994. And as we were turning our restaurant into the master smokehouse, Keith and Eric and myself and Howard were talking about construction and like, how are we going to get the catering van to back up to the smokers to load in all the meats? Well, we got to get rid of the orange tree. And my wife, Rosita, was like, absolutely no chance are you going to get rid of the orange tree. And she fought yeah. tooth and nail and literally right. figured out a way to keep the orange tree in front of the restaurant. And now we have a beautiful smokehouse, but we have a tree and Simeon and my wife, and myself were in front of the tree and like it looks amazing it would without the tree it wouldn't look cool 
But what's even cooler about the tree is that it's a generational tree. And, you know, why we get into this business is exactly for the story that Avi talked about. It's it's not about a transaction. It's about bringing I met we met in this bar and then now we're bringing our kids into the bar. That's what happens in our restaurant. It's I mean, Stacy Poonkinney, who owns the Trails Eatery, she met her husband. She literally worked in our restaurant before we took over it. Like that restaurant was a restaurant for 20 years before we took it over it. She met her husband working in our restaurant and like now it's still there. She brings her kids there. It's absolutely incredible. And, um, you know, I, I love stories like that. That's why we do what we do. I mean, th those are the stories that go above and beyond. And when people take the time to write the review and say something like that, that's uh, it's powerful because when I come to New York, I'm coming to those locations. Dude, that, those locations are such icon Icons. Like down the hatch, or did you say off the wagon or down the hatch? I forget. <laughs> I get the confused. There, there are two. They're both uh, like they're all so synonymous. Off the wagon the is the one he mentioned. Yeah. And it's, hair of the dog. Oh, those are the names of the restaurants. I yeah. thought you were just fucking shit. No, that's that's a, the that's the those I'm are great names. Sure, I'm pretty sure off the wagon, like your hands can touch either side of the place. Oh yeah, it's tiny. It's like a it's like a shoebox, like a half a shoebox, right? Yeah. It's Most like of the time that, you're, that I was at off the wagon, though, was not, you know, wasn't very clear headed. So that's what I recall of it. Anyway, <laughs> I wouldn't, I couldn't step foot in there now. So on this segment, I think we just promoted uh, underage working and drinking. I think Avi said he was 19 <laughs> when he went there. Sean talking about being 12 years old, bussing tables. Exactly. Yeah. Authenticity. That's yeah. an idea factory. Do not condone any illegal activities when it comes to labor force or that to underage true. drinking. Yeah. <laughs> That's one hundred percent. That's you know that's part of the that's part of the legacy. Well, if you're an immigrant family, you you can talk about labor laws all you want, or you can just yeah. sleep outside. <laughs> and you can talk about drinking age too. Sure. <laughs> I I mean, okay. Just yeah. be honest about it. <laughs> I just had uh, I just had Penelope Wong of Yuan Wanton, who shout out to to her and her team. They just got a James Beard nomination out of a food truck, then just turned into a restaurant. So. James Beard is going, wait a minute, that fire food. And she is very outspoken on what it takes and the struggles and all that. And anyway, I mentioned she grew up in the restaurant business. Her family had a restaurant and, you know, doing homework in the corner table and then helping bus tables or doing those pieces. Like that is, that is a very American story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So 